Hello everyone, Sage here and welcome to the Executive Corner Expert Talks by Kalkine TV. Today's guest is Mr. Archil Cheshvili, CEO and co-founder of Genesis AI. Now you may not have noticed, but the AI industry is booming and will present an enormous opportunity for early investment. In today's show, we're going to learn how an AI company led by a team of Harvard alumni are solving the sector's problems of connectivity, quality management and costliness through the creation of a marketplace that allows for a review system and expert analysis. So today's guest has caught the interest of Yahoo Finance and the New York Post. Mr. Achil Cheshvili, CEO and co-founder of Genesis AI. Welcome, Achil. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank you. And with your experience in this highly anticipated and exciting sector, we feel lucky that you have made time to share your insights on the show. So firstly, congratulations on your capital raising efforts so far. Could you please explain your inspiration behind the brand Genesis AI? For sure. So uh, when I was working on my previous sort of show intelligence startup, I discovered uh, what to be the biggest problem in the artificial intelligence space. So we found that there are all these AI tools out there in the internet, open source, or inside the big companies or small companies, and there is no connectivity amongst them. Most of these AI tools are developed and operated in silos. There is really no easy way for these tools to exchange data, trade services and learn from each other. It's sort of a paradox that AI is all about learning from as many sources as possible. And most of AI tools are not learning from each other, right? <clears throat> so we decided to solve this problem by creating a protocol, sort of a constitution that specify how these different AI tools can interact, how they can communicate and how they can work together. With many industries adopting this cutting edge technology from Tesla's communication systems and payment systems at Amazon, Genesis AI has found a way to bring these disparate systems together in one marketplace, making it more cost effective and practical for businesses to use. How does Genesis AI maintain a cost effective environment in the space? For sure. So currently there are a few large companies that probably employ most of the good AI engineers and control most of the good uh, AI tools. And uh, they know that they are part, they, they are oligopolies, maybe four or five, Amazon, Google, Facebook, and so on. So they are pricing in a monopolistic way. So they are really, really maximizing pricing. For example, everyone who has interacted with uh, AWS or Google Cloud, uh, is probably super frustrated about how expensive those tools are. And uh, what we do is we are trying to minimize the cost by increasing supply of AI tools on our platform. So all those require more AI tools there, as there are, that are competing with each other, price usually goes down. So that's one way we are working with that. The second way is we're building infrastructure that allows us cost reductions. For example, uh, using some of the computing services on demand rather than uh, people needing to rent uh, a GPU server all the time for 24 hours. It takes investment initially, but it saves costs in the long run. So we are really, really caring about uh, how much we can save for users because we have been there ourselves. We've been frustrated by how much AWS, Google Cloud and other tools cost. And Genesis AI is gaining a lot of attention from investors raising approximately $3 million thus far. In which industries do you see most of Genesis AI's clients existing? That's a great question, uh, Sage. So we are focusing on the asset management space right now. So all of our AI powered tools are for the retail investors. So regular people who invest in stock markets, in bonds, commodities, uh, people who are looking to analyze text, speech, and other types of unstructured data to gain insights about, about the markets. Uh, 
uh, for example, answering some questions like uh, how the Brexit will affect uh, different assets or uh, how, um, for example, uh, so summarizing a big news and article in few sentences so that you can save time and so on. So all of our tools are targeted to the retail investors. And it's been absolutely great uh, because uh, first, uh, uh, the market is, has been growing uh, just super fast right now. And when you look at Robinhood's users, number of Robinhood's users grows, uh, or number of uh, uh, Coinbase grows, just retail investor market has been exploding. And we are we are humble to be there, to be providing uh, AI tools for one of the fastest growing markets. And uh, there are really very, very few tools that are doing similar to what we do. So we are really, really excited to be able to be, be at the forefront of AI tools for the retail investors. So analysts project the AI market cap to expand to $5.5 trillion or more by 2027. And this has the potential to change the world as we know it. Could you please explain the Genesis AI's marketplace? and the purpose of the review system and the expert analysis utilized for the service ratings. For sure. So our marketplace allows buyers and sellers to basically find each other. So the goal here is to have a web platform that can potentially bring hundreds of different AI components tools all in one place connect all of them together and then allow users to find and use high quality cheap ai powered products and services right so so far we have around eight ai powered tools deployed on our platform we'll be adding a lot in the next few weeks and the goal here is to have basically three different categories in our marketplace first is some of our own proprietary tools. Second are open source AI tools that are out there on the internet. And third are tools from third party AI companies or PhDs or computer science students and so on. So this, this will be three sides of the supply side and on the demand side, it will be all for the retail investors. And we believe that this connectivity among uh, people in need of AI products and services and people who would like to monetize their AI tech, that will bring lots of value to the community. Wow, this is definitely an exciting space, welcoming the world to the future. This is the stuff we're used to seeing in sci-fi movies. I really appreciate your insights on today's show. It sounds like you have a very innovative platform. How does Genesis AI's platform set it aside from the other market players, please? For sure. So uh, we are truly focusing on maximizing quality of AI products and services. And we have done lots of research that shows that when you're operating in a marketplace environment where you potentially can be connecting hundreds of AI tools with each other, not only you'll be increasing functionality of these tools, but also accuracy rates. Functionality increase happens when, for example, you have a speech recognition model working with translation model to produce speech translation. And accuracy rates increase happens when, for example, you take the best of the best tool in one category and uh, connects it to the best of the best tool in another category. Or when you start averaging outputs of multiple models, for example. So we believe that this will be game changers. This is also our plan to uh, compete some other big players who are providing AI tools. Now you've mentioned some big names, Coinbase and Google, and also AI's ability to analyze big data required for the changes we're currently seeing in the monetary policy of nations and international trade relations and regulations. This technology is gaining pace in its practical applicability in the world. What are the near-term pipeline goals for Genesis AI, please? Mm, that's a good question. So we are, our goal in the next few months uh, will be, we'll be focusing on three main areas. First is uh, deploying more AI models on our platform, having, allowing people to use uh, 
all things related to text uh, speech recognition, basically. Uh, second part will be uh, uh, improving uh, infrastructure for these different AI tools to communicate with each other so that we take step forward in maximizing accuracy rate of this, of this tools. And the third direction will be research we have been doing about artificial general intelligence, basically as a dream and pinnacle of technology, how we can get there. And this will be three, three main major focus on the tech side and all the business development definitely will be maximizing learning, maximizing number of users we have, and also uh, making sure that we have enough financial capital to uh, grow as fast as possible. Well, thank you so much, Achil. Best of luck with your future business objectives. We have to start winding up the discussions now. Were there any final comments you'd like to share with our investor audience? And, and how can our viewers invest in Genesis AI? Are you listed on the New York Stock Exchange yet? Uh, no, so we are, uh, we are a private company and uh, uh, we are uh, doing equity crowdfunding and uh, um, and we are, uh, yeah, so basically I cannot talk much about the terms, but uh, because of the SEC regulations, but we are doing equity crowdfunding and uh, uh, yeah, so, and you usually uh, say uh, SEC requires uh, uh, there to be a link of equity crowdfunding page if uh, this part about equity crowdfunding will be part of the interview. Thanks for sharing your insights on the show, Achil. And viewers, I hope you found that informative. Please don't hesitate to search for Genesis AI's website, www.genesisai.io for more information. And as we say, stay apprised and invest wise with Kalkine. This is Sage signing off.